Uh, interesting question I pose to Bella goes to hell. Does the intervention of the will um, or consciousness, I think that these ter terms are somewhat interchangeable, does the intervention of the will alter the value of something that is experienced? In other words, uh, two people look at the same thing and they see something different. How valid is that difference that is perceived? In other words, they put one person, say, sees something bleak, another person sees something beautiful. Um, the experience that each person has of looking at something or experiencing something uh, is completely different even though they're having what one would assume would be the same experience. Has that actually changed anything? Has anything actually changed, at least in terms of value? Has the experience of consciousness or conscious intervention altered anything? We could say no because what these two people are looking at exactly the same thing and if they have two different uh, evaluations of the same thing. If one person is, say, looking at a flower and seeing something depressing or horrifying and the other person is seeing something wonderful, we can say that the only difference is in here. But the problem is, of course, um, that's where all value comes from in the first place. Uh, we can look at things that we like or we don't like, attraction and repulsion, which is fine, but that's not the same thing as value in an absolute sense. Uh, value is a lot more nuanced and it's not always easy to assign value or recognize value or um, acknowledge value. So I think that the, uh, the intervention of the will or consciousness is a lot more important than some people seem to think in the whole issue of value. Um, whether or not something is good or bad have you ever met somebody who tends to see everything in a particular light, i.e. a very positive or very negative light? Um, who are we likely to give more credence to? Well, it depends again on who you're asking. Is Ned Flanders the right person to ask about reality? Um, or is Grumpy Cat the right person to ask when it comes to uh, accurate assessment of reality? That's a biased question in and of itself. Which person is correct? Well, the the answer to that it depends on who you're asking, and sort of it's you're you're in this kind of infinite regression of um, of bias or of um, conflicting interpretation. I guess it's not necessarily bias, which kind of is an interesting situation to be in. In that it sort of says that the original idea of value. Um, is in the eye of the beholder to begin with. We know what it is, but how do we assign it to what's going on on the outside? Um, we understand what value is, I guess, as a concept, but how we apply it to the outside world, or how we recognize it in the outside world, just whatever word you want to use, is so completely different that I'm not really sure that we can actually ever agree on value. Um, that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It just means that it's not as clear-cut as we sometimes think it is.